What you okay. learn from these season openers uh, last year, just as a freshman watching from the sidelines, knowing that you probably weren't going to play, but obviously it ended up being a tough game for the guys who were out there. Yeah, I think uh, you know don't underestimate your opponent. You know, come out strong and, and finish stronger. I think uh, we came out in the second half slow, and, and then obviously it showed, and, and they came back in it. So it's something we're just going to focus on uh, this year. Give us an idea of just the mood this week after going through all the camp and knowing that a game is just hours away here. It's exciting. Just everyone's everyone's ready to go. Everyone's focused. Uh, you know, you can't overlook the week of practice that we have. But uh, you know, I think practice has been going really well. We got one more day tomorrow to clean everything up, and uh, you know, we'll be ready to go. Who's been offering you any advice, maybe inside the program or outside the program, about how to handle your your first starting assignment as, as a as a regular quarterback? Uh, no, I haven't really gotten any advice. Uh, it's kind of just status quo. Keep keep doing what I'm doing. Uh, I could build off last year, off the uh, two games I finished up with. Uh, and I'll just be be a vocal leader, be do, do what I'm doing. Uh, really, that, that's it. Kind of just take it, take it play by play. Are you the sort of person, Kenny, who seeks out that kind of stuff, or do you kind of just like to internalize things more? Um, if I if I need it, I definitely go out and, and, and look at the veterans and ask. Um, but it's been really smooth so far, and uh, like I said earlier, just take it take it play by play, and uh, you know, and take it slow, and, and just take control of the team and, and go from there. Does anything stand out to you about Albany so far from watching them on tape? Uh, they're a tough team, you know. It shows that you know, statistically they had had a great year last year. Uh, I know they have a new DC, so we'll see where they they throw at us this year. But um, like I said, I think it could be a lot of in-game adjustments depending on how how they play us compared to the, the new guy that's coming in now. So really, we'll just have to see. Darren was telling us yesterday that he remembers from the Youngstown State game, making sure everybody is focused. Do you feel that that focus is there for Albany this week? Uh, definitely. Yeah, I think it's a new a new kind of mindset going into this season. Uh, it's been really, uh, you know, high tempo practices, really uh, locked in on what we have to do, and it's been smooth. So, uh, you know, we're, we're looking forward to it. We're not looking forward to looking past this Thursday practice and the, and the Friday walkthrough. So, we got two more days to go, and then we'll be ready. You seem like, go ahead, Jerry. Oh, go ahead, Jerry. I, you seem such a cool and, and calm guy. Will you have to collect yourself maybe right before kickoff on Saturday? Uh, I kind of have a different mindset than other guys going into game day. It's kind of a different position. I can't be going nuts on the field and. And uh, then I lose my mind, and I lose my, you know, my read and what I have to do. So I kind of just stay, stay calm, stay smooth from the for, 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 uh, first quarter to the last one. Uh, that's really my mindset. I mean, what's it like as a quarterback to have so many different options at receiver, where you can have so many different combinations in a game? Uh, it just makes you feel comfortable. Uh, I feel really comfortable back there. Uh, I have trust in, I'd say, seven to eight guys go in there and, and do exactly what the guy before him did. And that's something that I feel like we didn't have last year, and we have it this year. And uh, you know, I'm, I'm really excited to get going with these guys. Have you had enough time with them? Do you feel comfortable with? with yeah, them? absolutely. I mean, I've gotten so many reps. Not even counting camp and, and this week of practice. Uh, it dates back to you know the winter of last last <coughs> season. So uh, yeah, I mean, it's been countless hours of work and preparation, and uh, we'll be ready to go. Kenny, how does this game? I mean, obviously, you, know, you want to win. You want to stay healthy. But how can this game sort of? Uh, put things together for you as an offense as you kind of move forward into the schedule after week one? Right, I think it kind of kickstarts you in the season how the first week goes. So it's kind of set the tone for how, how the year will go, and uh, that's something we're definitely going to be focused on. As the starter, what was your reaction to hearing that they were bringing in another quarterback just before the season here in Jeff? Yeah, I mean, I just welcomed him in. Uh, welcome to the family. He's a great guy. Uh, he's been a great addition so far. He's been nothing but positive, and I can't say anything but great things about him. So it's been great, and I, it'll continue that way. Is there room for everybody in that room? Yeah, yeah. There's, enough, guys, there's, right? there's enough seats, yeah. yeah. We, we fit them all in. Okay, what can fans expect from this year's offense? Um, I just think explosive. You know, I, th I think we have a lot of guys that can do a lot of great things. And consistently. I think consistently run the ball, consistently pass the ball, having great balance. I think that's one thing that we'll be able to hang our hat on. Where do you think, Kenny, this, this a group is with uh, Coach Watts? And, you know, obviously last year you were just a freshman. You were new to it all. But where do you feel like you all are this year compared to where you were at this point last year? I think it's not even close in terms of how comfortable we are with the offense. Um, it's our offense now this year. I think last year we were kind of 50-50. Really, we didn't know our identity really. I think now now it's our time to go. And Coach Watson's ready to roll. We're ready to go. And uh, it'll, it'll be smooth. Would you consider it a West Coast style offense? I know that's what yeah. Sean's done in, in a lot of his career. Yeah, no, absolutely West Coast. Uh, that's something that you know he prides himself on. We have you know multiple sets, you know diff different looks at different personnel groups. Defense are gonna have a tough time, you know. Uh, which, puts you, which puts you in the move then, right? Uh huh. West Coast puts you in the move a little, right? Yeah, yeah. You know we're gonna take advantage of everything that we have on our offense. You know personnel wise, about to get in the move, make some plays. 
Uh, like, I, like I said earlier, we have like eight guys on the outside, two great running backs that, you know, we just have a lot of, a lot of personnel that I think defense are going to have problems with. Are you looking forward this year to maybe stretching the field more than anybody was able to really last year? Absolutely. I think that all you know goes on the, the receivers. You know, they they, they are they have had a lot of improvement throughout the uh, summer. Uh, you know, Maurice French, Taysier, uh, Shockey, Ra Ra, Trey, really taking the reins this year, and uh, you can see a, a, a huge jump from last year where it was kind of Jay uh, Jester Wea being like the bell cow kind of guy. Now it's uh, you know a collective effort, and it, it's been awesome. What's it like? What's it mean for the offense to have George back? Uh, he kind of like the thump of the offense. I'd say he's the heartbeat. You know, uh, he he's the pride of the offense. You know, when he comes in the huddle, he's so ready to go. And I'm I'm under center in the the rehearsal scrimmage. I hear him breathing behind me when I'm under center. I'm like, this guy's a freaking nut. So he's he's ready to go. Uh, it's awesome. But I never really got the chance to play with him. Now I do, and I'm really looking forward to it. Did you end up making it all the way through camp with no picks? No, no, they no. got me. They got me. They got me. Who Tip was my, it? Tim, my cap. Uh, I forget who it was. I'm not sure. Just I'm one? Not sure. Uh, I think it was two, two or three. Yeah, so they got me. So, so, so after we all wrote about that, I guess yeah, they were. They turned it up a little bit. <laughs> yeah, there you go. It's got sloppy on us at the end. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.